All right, what we got here is some tannerite. I'm just going to show you guys uh, what it looks like and how you mix it up. It usually comes with uh, this powder here to keep it separated. Once you actually mix it together, then it becomes activated. Go ahead and open up this bad boy. Take this packet. Get it open. Then dump in the contents. And once you get it, you want to put the top on. Just kind of mix it around. There you go. It's ready to go. That's just wild, dude. Damn, did you see how fast that shit was that came this way? So just a couple of thoughts on Tannerite. So first off, you need to be using a high-velocity cartridge, and they recommend at least 2,000 feet per second. So um, if you're shooting with a, with a pistol or some sort of a handgun, you're not really going to get detonation. That's why we were using 55-grain uh, bullets and, and, and then, of course, um, a, a rifle. So another thing that you may want to do is tape down the lid. If you graze um, the side of it, you're probably not going to cause detonation, or else if you shoot the top of the lid, um, then you're not going to really cause that detonation and it, it'll probably cause spillage. Uh, along with that, make sure that obviously you are in a safe area when you're shooting Tannerite. And um, there are some other alternatives out there to Tannerite, and you may find that they have a little bit better detonation quality than what I experienced. I've shot Tannerite multiple times, and I would say that probably about 50% of the time it would detonate, and the other 50% it wouldn't detonate. Um, and we did verify, in fact, that the round had penetrated um, all the way through. So it may have just been a bad batch. I'm not sure. But those are just a couple of thoughts that I've had. Haven't shot any of the other ones, um, any of the other uh, Tannerite alternatives out there, but I do know that those are available. So you may want to look into those before purchasing. So again, thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Thanks.